What is up, everybody? My name is Sam, and this is the internet where things happen, and we are back playing Dream Daddy. And by we, I mean me and Zach. Dream Daddy, we're back at it. <laughs> and last we left, our intrepid father, Zach Gil Rames, um, he just had a conflict with Amanda, his daughter, who came home an hour and a half after curfew and did not respond to any of his texts. A cardinal sin. If you ever grew up in the James household. Yeah. Yeah. Bad shit. Oh, you, you, know the like memes where, you know the memes where it's like, oh, you know, dad, four missed calls or whatever. And it's like, oh, whatever. Mom, you know, mm -hmm. one missed call. And then it's a thousand text messages. Mm -hmm. No, that was for both my parents growing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. You, didn't, you never yeah. didn't respond to people's messages as a kid. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have to keep track. Especially you if, you wanted everybody. To, if you wanted to keep your privileges of being able to go out and having a phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're starting off in our very nice, very simple kitchen. I definitely didn't mm -hmm. sleep well last night. I brewed some strong coffee and made some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace offering. One of my four approved egg types. She eventually four wanders into the kitchen. I don't know if it's actually four. It just sounds funny to have a number like that. Very specific. <laughs> hey. I thought about what you said last night. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. Uh -huh. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well, I'm sorry for freaking out on you. You're an adult now. I shouldn't have gotten so worked up. Hmm. Team Rames? Team Rames. <laughs> Amanda gives me a hug. Want some eggs? You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them. Oh, what was that inflection? Sprinkle some cheese on them? Because <laughs> everything ends in a question? Because we actually live in <laughs> California? Uh, yeah. Already dead? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> I made a scarf down the eggs in the time it takes me to wash the pan. Alright, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. What? What's dad book? <laughs> It's a social media platform. Wait. Hmm. What? What's well, a social media platform? <laughs> dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. Huh. All right. I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. Uh. Amanda spends the next couple of minutes setting up my profile on dad book, which as it turns out is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. All right, Pops, you gotta fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. Oh. Ooh, yeah. On a Friday night, you are most likely to. Ooh, let's see. Mm. Uh, Sink into blissful yep. oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> if you had one thing to take with you on a desert island, what would it be? Uh, a boat, obviously. <laughs> a lost shaker of salt. <laughs> a boat, but... <laughs> What are your turn-ons? Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Street smarts! What do you want to- what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, salty, salty boat. boat captain. What's your favorite movie genre? Anything on laser mm. disc? <laughs> Hell yeah! What's your ideal date? Arson. Uh, ooh. <laughs> I kinda wanna pick arson. Yeah. What do you never leave home without? Uh, my sick my vape. Sick vape. <laughs> a cool knife. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. I mean, mine's not very cool, but... I spent a lot of time thinking about... Mm. <laughs> Fucking, yep. <laughs> uh, whoa, God. Profile yeah. complete. See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day in here just looking at people's profiles. You should message one of them, or more than one of them. All these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. Amanda gives me a okay. hug. Go get them, Dad. Well, you see, the problem is you never... Like, this game, it's hard to tell if there's gonna be... If you've got dads. If there's gonna be anything after the ellipses or not. Yeah. Dad, Amanda. <laughs> 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 Hi, Zach. You'll, oh, it's you. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Zach. Cool. It's me, your dear old friend from way back in the day, Dad Manda. I'm delighted to see you signed up for a dad book. They recently added this exciting new messenger service, so you may find yourself receiving messages from other dads like myself. Take care not to miss them. Amanda, is that you? What are you doing on dad book? Why, Zach, you'll lie never. We've known each other since business school. <laughs> How could you possibly confuse me for your amazing and talented and easy to buy things for a daughter? Though I am, of course, flattered. You should buy Amanda more things. <laughs> Amanda, you know I don't go to didn't go to business school. I barely even managed to get my degree. Wait, no. Wow, I didn't say that. You never heard that. This is gold. I was a great student. I swear, I graduated the top of my class because I worked hard and ate all my vegetables. Totally holding on to this for later. Wait, do you even remember what I majored in? Uh, I declined to comment. Cool. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's message Robert because we've already had some some uh, some some late night session with him. Mm -hmm. We've had some moments with Robert. Robert Small. <laughs> when the internet, internet gains sentience and decides to destroy us, you'll all know it. It will use this information against us, right? <laughs> On a Friday night, you are most likely to make a deal in an alleyway, have it go badly. Who's the cop? Was it Was it Giacomo? I trusted Giacomo. Uh, if you had one thing to <laughs> do, what would it be? Gun. What are your turn-ons? Don't talk to me. What do you want to be when you grew up? Grifter. What's your favorite... Uh, movie genre, Italian neorealism. What's your ideal date? Grave robbing. Oh, so this guy's just an edge ward. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you never leave home with that? At least four knives. I spent a lot of time thinking about if uh, you ever really look into a rabbit animal's eyes. What the fuck? Let's message him. <laughs> you up? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Rob was pretty nice, a little odd, but nice and ruggedly handsome. We should hang out. I type out a message to him on Dad Book. Hey Robert, good seeing you again at the cookout. Wanna grab a drink? I sit there for a couple seconds, hoping you'll message me back. Hey, it says you read my message. Ooh, left on <laughs> red. Left I anxiously on wait red. for a response. Watch cat videos on the cat internet, videos. obviously. Although cat if it were me, it'd be bird sure. videos. Bird videos, yeah. I start down a rabbit hole of cat videos, and Robert quickly vanishes from my mind. I didn't realize how long I've been doing this, but by the time I watched maybe my 30th cat video, Robert pops back into my head. I jump back over to Dad Book to see if he's responded yet. Oof. Nothing. Well, I guess the guy's busy. Man, so he just wham bam to thank you manned me. <laughs> I might as well make the best of my day. I thought it was something between us. I get up, walk in the living room, and sit down and turn on the TV. I faked all of them. Uh, <laughs> should we go back to the food channel? Yeah. Ooh, meat hell's on. Yes. You have ten minutes to cook a five-course meal that must include these ingredients. Steak, lemon, mer um, lemon meringue pie, paper clips, and a hammer. If you're unable to finish cooking, or if any of these ingredients are absent from the dish, we will release the wolves. Yeah, what? I really want to watch Meat Hell. I need to see Meat yeah. Hell. Oh my god. I'm not kidding. Please help us! Please help us! I lose several hours of whatever the hell that was. To whatever the hell that was. So I'm gonna get up and walk around the house. My stomach grumbles. You know what that makes me think of that one Amanda show sketch where like they stick the guy in the cage with the cougar? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Like, the only one I remember from that. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot. God, I forgot all about that shit. Time for lunch, huh? Well, I guess it's time for old Chef Rams to cook a gourmet delicacy. Do we have a job? I do, being a dad. <laughs> I walk I over guess. to the refrigerator and open the door. Uh, Microwave some eggs. <laughs> no, we're going to make a sandwich. Oh, probably reheat, reheat. You know, mustard, I do you know. like the idea of just grabbing some raw eggs, sticking them on a plate, and just hitting fucking, and just nuking them for like a minute and a half. Wait, what do I? I'm always sick. This is my go-to lunch. <laughs> make a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. I make a sandwich in its entirety while standing there. Who needs plates? <laughs> the, the sandwich. I lost art. I admire my work for a second before I clumsily <laughs> drop the entire thing on the floor. No! No! 
I look around and remember that Amanda's not home. Sorry. <laughs> this is still good. Five second roll, right? <laughs> I reassemble my sandwich, picking, peeling pickles off the floor and uh, putting them back where they belong in my mouth. Wait, I'm a, re- I'm a wreck. I finish my snack I mean, and walk is, around the house some more. Bored. What? The house is new. That is true. I mean, how, how dirty can the floor be right now? That is true. Oh, I just remembered something. When we were packing up the old house, we found an old basketball hoop that would hang off a door. It would really bring the living room together. I wonder where I put that. I spent a couple minutes poking around the new place until I find it. After installing it above one of the doors in the living room, I'm ready to dunk. I thought he said I'm already drunk. <laughs> Come on and slam. I take a hey, leap. Welcome from- to the jam. I take a leap and Oh, did you see what they did to the Space Jam website? Yeah, they changed it to the new one. No, it's just a They're fucking still- waiting screen now. They got rid of the entire website. It's just a coming soon thing now. Wow. Uh, what, what I heard there was a there's a button that you can press that will take you back to the old 1996 website in the, like the top corner. Somewhere. Oh, okay. So it's still there. It's just they they they've changed it so to promote the new movie. Well, that's good then, because my buddy showed it to me. He's like, "Look what they did to it." I dig a leap from the free throw line and rocket that sucker down the net. The crowd goes wild. And welcome to the jam. <laughs> yes. I pull up for the three-point line, breaking ankles, sinking a fadeaway. And I forgot the rest of the words to this song. No look behind the back, hook shot, everybody's on their feet. Something, something, Space Jam. (laughs) Dad? I turn around to see Amanda standing in the doorway. Her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she'd been crying. Oh, no. Hey, Amanda Panda, you alright? What are you doing? I, uh, found the hoop. I'm taking it to the hole. Oh. Huh. Mm. Pass me the rock. Laser the ball to him. Uh, Gray, <laughs> Gray tossed that apple. Yeah. I lead the lead in blocks, set the record for rebounds in my rookie ear. You think you can handle this? What's a rebound? Oh, uh, when someone misses a shot and other players try to retrieve it, that's, uh... Just kidding! Amanda zigs past me and tips a layup into the hook. Oh, damn. Art of war, bitches. Amanda, language. Sun Tzu didn't care about language. Sun Tzu doesn't swear in his book at at all. (laughs) (laughs) I've read it. (laughs) I would argue that Sun Tzu cared very much about language, so once you write something as timeless as the art of war, then you're allowed to swear. He doesn't swear in the art of war! (laughs) Imagine, I just imagine like Sensu like writing down the word bitches <laughs> in the art of war. <laughs> All warfare is based on deception, bitches. Mm-hmm. To defeat your enemy, you must know that motherfucker. Nah. Amanda sticks out her tongue and dunks for another two points. Seriously though, are you okay? You look like you've been crying. Oh, dude, I'm cool. I just saw like this really cute dog on the way home, and it let me pet its belly. I couldn't contain my emotions. Uh, yeah, the first one. You sure that's all you're upset about? If there's, you know, oh. anything going on, I just want you to know that I'm here for you. And I'll always be here for you. Whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a strong dad to go kick someone's butt, I'm only a phone call away. Thanks, Popsicle. <clears throat> I appreciate that. Popsicle. But I'm fine, really. I'm unconvinced, but I'll stop badgering her about it. I'm sure she'll tell me when she's ready. Oh, okay. Just make it sure. Maybe you should be less concerned with my face and more concerned with full court press. Amanda and I played ball for a little longer, then we cooked dinner together. We managed to almost not burn down the house this time. <sighs> Afterward, Amanda and I dig into a carton of ice cream over an episode of Chop Toddler Tournament. What the fuck Whoa. are these shows? <laughs> What you have in front of you is a molecularly deconstructed sweet potato with a brown sugar demi-glace with cream fresh, of course. This is literally a jar of baby food. The toddler immediately <laughs> bursts into tears. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that one video, we- I don't think you, you, I don't know if you've seen it or not, where it's like a kid who's like, this little, like, uh, I think he's Russian, like he's a little, like six or seven years old, he's a chess prodigy. And they're like, and the announcer's like, you know, oh, oh, I don't think I can. They bring, out, they bring out that like the, professional chess master and the to kid play against just them. Immediately starts breaking down. 
достойного противника. Я приглашаю в эту студию 12-го чемпиона мира по шахматам, международного гроссмейстера, заслуженного мастера спорта СССР Анатолия Карпова. I've seen that. The best is I saw one where they cut the doom oh. music to it. Yeah. <laughs> that's Are we bad people for watching this? Yes. After a few more episodes, Amanda goes to bed. I check my computer one last time. Still nothing from Robert. But it says he read my message. Is he ignoring me? Eventually I climb into bed and get some rest, but I can't stop wondering why Robert won't message me back. Dude, don't get trapped in that one-itis. Mm-hmm. Date complete. Ooh, date complete. Dad points, daddy points. Damn. I didn't hear what he said. Mm. You can say bookmarks directly to your desktop. Well, I'll do my <laughs> afternoon. dad tip. <laughs> doing my afternoon word jumbles. I hear the mail truck pull through the cul-de-sac. I wonder if we got any coupons today. The nice oh, mail person man. slides a couple letters and a large yellow envelope through the slot. It takes a couple tries for them to get it in. Hey, my coupons! <laughs> Excuse me. I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I literally knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda! She yells through the door. What? I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay. Just thought you'd wanted this big old envelope we got from HIA. Immediately, Amanda pushes her door open. Horn Institute for the Arts? I kind of like that. Like the string for hanging the uh, photos off of. That's a neat design choice. I mean, yeah. if you're busy, I can come back. Father, please. I hand her the envelope, which she tears open with her teeth. That's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits out a piece of envelope. She pulls out a letter and unfolds it. And? The suspense is killing me. This is her dream school. Amanda's face is unreadable. I can't believe this. Oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't. I got in! Oh! I got in! Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god, I really can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You nailed that interview and your photography is incredible. Wait, Dad. I know this one's really expensive and it's so far away. I think for a moment. HIA is one of the more expensive schools that Amanda applied to. But I know she's had her heart set on it for the longest time. It'll be tough, but we're gonna make it work. Really? Of course. Amanda hugs me again. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight. Dinner, your choice, wherever you want. Wherever? Amanda and I walk along the bayside, tearing into our foil wrapped burritos from a nearby food truck. Hell yeah. You could have chosen anywhere in Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. Please, Dad, you know I'm a simple gal. Just give me a Rito with a view. I can't say I'm mad. Amanda and I sit on a patch of grass and watch ships sail lazily through the bay. And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes, and there are all these galleries nearby, and there's a discount if you bring your student ID, and... Amanda, slow down. You're a good joke on your burrito. I know, I'm just excited. Did I mention the students get their own studio space once they're seniors and we get all the professional photo editing software for free? It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA, but I wish she wouldn't do it between bites of her burrito. I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone who's similar with a similar major and interest. I bet we're gonna be best friends. Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. But don't even get me started on bad roommates. Oh no. I'm just kidding, we didn't have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home one night. 
He spent a semester fabricating a story about our new foreign exchange student who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. <laughs> Carl ruled. <laughs> oh, they let you have animals in the dorms if you get a note saying you need one? I bet I could forge one. I think I'd get a rabbit, or maybe a snake, or maybe both. Would the snake eat the rabbit, though? Oh, boy. I think I'll leave all that up to you. She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint her, but I need to be real for a second. So, you know I had that talk with Mr. Vega. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? No. I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but I need you to knock it out of the park these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need that scholarship money. I know you can do it. Okay. I promise I'll try harder. I pat her on the back. Think you can handle a 14 hour drive to come home for the holidays? It's gonna be some treacherous ice roads to cross. Hope they're haunted. And don't even get me started yeah. on the paranormal occurrences. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. In my head cannon, uh -huh. that's all like real, so it's like a hellish, like, you know, like anytime there's an ice road, there's always ghosts you gotta deal with and shit. <laughs> It really puts it into perspective. Me and Chels went, um, we drove um, past the mountains to um, this place called uh, uh, Wenatchee uh, the, uh, earlier in the week. And um, part of it was like through like a ski resort and it was just snow and ice the entire way through. Mm. And I was just like, no, wow, it was probably haunted. There were probably ghosts there. <laughs> I mean, it I makes ghosts in my blood now. It makes sense too because you got, you got haunted ice roads, then you've got all these like nightmarish like running man style fucking cooking shows that are out there <laughs> <laughs> i want to watch i want to watch meat hell and chop toddler edition <laughs> which was the one with the wolves was that meat hell or was that that was meat hell yeah that was meat hell <laughs> my eyes immediately well up with tears oh dad don't cry Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. You're all grown up now, and you're such a good person. And I hope you know how important you are to me. I love, I love how it's just like he's crying, but like the the picture is still him going. <laughs> Dad, stop! You're gonna make me cry too. It's too late, honey. It's happening. Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's gonna make it taste sad. <laughs> I pull Amanda in for a hug and kiss her on the forehead. Love you, kiddo. Love you too, Pops. No. Dad, always try your best at everything. Welcome. You got dads. Let's message. Oh, hold on, we got Craig. Ah, oh, Craig. Hey dude, I've <laughs> got the runs. Oh, I've got just the thing. I'll head to the store and grab you a real chunky milkshake, cherry licorice, and a book of word jumbles that I find helpful in strenuous times such as these. What? Wouldn't that make it worse? Oh, it's not for diarrhea. Milkshakes are just comforting. Wait, why are we talking about this? But I've got the runs. By I've got the runs, I meant that I feel like running. Uh, want to come with me to the gym? Why do I feel less excited about that than getting you <laughs> remedies for diarrhea? Come on, man. It'll be fun. You know what? Sure. What are we doing this? There's 30 minute, more minutes left in this meat hell marathon. I'm outside right now. I'm warming Jesus. up. Okay, okay. But at least let me see if Betty gets away from the wolves in time to get her Saprasada wrapped cheesecake out of the oven. <laughs> Alright, we're going running. My least favorite physical activity. <laughs> Fucking hate running. Sucks. Running sucks. Oh! <laughs> the gym just I love over here. What's that? Yeah. Uh at the bottom, Aaron, Ross, and Jory at the bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Get Jory in here. The gym feels... <laughs> Peepus. The gym just installed these new virtual jogging treadmills. We'll feel like we're running outdoors. You can see other runners on your screen, too. Let's try it out together. Other runners? Will I be able to keep up? Don't worry. We're here to cheer each other on. I'll be right there with you. Just get a rhythm going, keep your heart rate up, but don't overexert yourself. You'll do great. What do I have to do? Okay. How, uh, I don't know. Oh, oh I oh, just have to click. Over... Okay. Don't overexert yourself. Is that Joseph? I think that's Joseph's little, little me. Oh, I think it is, yeah. 
Yeah, you just passed him. Sam, vamp while I'm doing this. Oh, I, uh... Uh, is that vamping? Is that good? No, that's scatting. How, how, no, scatting is. <laughs> oh, damn. Dan is so far ahead. Whoa, you got the eggplant. Just go, go, go. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Oh man, the power of the eggplant. Oh, there's Layton. Oh my god. I feel like. Is this like. Well, is this know, fun at all? I mean, I'm just clicking the mouse, that's all it is. Okay. I am double clicking it, I've got both I've got both hands on it. Um, what was I gonna say? Well, I tell you what though, like, if I actually had like a real route to run that was like this, I'd run outside. Bruh! Bruh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, you just passed Layton. All right, catch up to Dan. To Dan? <laughs> yup. <laughs> He's got a ponytail. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Has he ever had a ponytail? Um, he, he like he like uh he'll put his hair up during like power hours sometimes, but not usually. Damn, Dan's pulling away. I think the only time that he was ever close to that was when he and Aaron switched uh. Switch their Switch hairstyles. Hair. That was bizarre. Damn, fuck off! There we go. Yeah. The power of the eggplant. Is that Ross? Uh, that yeah. The No, is that Ross? Yeah, the rubber Ross. We're almost la we've almost laughed Aaron and Jory. Mm-hmm. They're kind of just hanging out. I like that they stopped to wave us on. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, I don't actually have to click it that much. I just have to hold it up. Okay. Oh, that's a lot easier. Bro. Bro. Yeah. All right. How yeah. long does this go for? There we go. It's almost oh, done. Okay, it's almost done. Oh, they got a little table set up virtually. Aw, cute. Yay. Yay. Let's see how we did. Ah! Ooh! 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 Way to go! Nice job, S plus plus. I think we need to keep um, talking to Craig then. Yeah, I think so. All right, uh, data three business entrepreneur and fitness enthusiast. Juggling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig, but it's something someone's got to do it. Friday night, get one last good cardio session in. <laughs> the double entendre of it. <laughs> That one. Desert Island would be Box of Energy Bars. Turn on to sub six minute mile. Well, I will never attract Craig then. Uh, would you want to be when you grew up a beer ping pong, beer pong world champion? Favorite movie is Buddy Cops. Uh, ideal date, scaling a huge dangerous amount of fun. Leave home without an extra tube of energy gel. Have you ever had energy gel? I have not. If you get it where it actually good. tastes good, it's actually not that bad. It's like a shot okay. of B12. It's nice. And I spend a lot of my time thinking about my mild time used to be so good. What happened? Have I peaked? <laughs> <laughs> Don't skip the corners. Never skip the corners. I wonder what Craig's up to today. I navigate to Craig's dad. I had to stop myself from getting it into Craig's voice for that. I never get to Craig's dad book page to type out a message. Hey, bro. Or should I say neighbor? Let's catch up like old times. A couple of moments pass before here. Ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro, my man, let's definitely hang soon. Might be a little different from our old weekend long benders, but it'll still be fun. I think for a moment, this could be a fun opportunity to see my old buddy in his new element. We exchange a couple more messages and he logs off to prep for the game. I see if Amanda wants to join me. I walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda! I open the door and find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece. What you working on? Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I take a closer look at her collage. Better see college on there. <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> that's a lot of dogs. 
It's mostly dogs, yeah. Do you need something? Craig invited us to a softball game. Want to go? Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you taught me all the, bought me all the gear and then you took me to the first game and then someone hit a ball towards me and I just ran off the field crying? And then you hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up. Yes. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic sentient softball. So does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye, determined. Ugh. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. Amanda and I make a short drive out to the local softball field. For a kid's softball game, it's pretty packed. We clamber up the bleachers and take our seats on top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. So when did the kids start crying and running off the field? You know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids crying, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Hmm. For nostalgia purposes, of course, not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. Uh. Definitely not that. The game starts with the kids running out in the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. He has river strapped to his chest, as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the mascot. <laughs> Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that it's the Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewood Apple, a, a, Apple Ots, Ocelots. Go Flapjacks? I don't know. Choke up on the bat, Miranda! Yeah, Miranda, square up! How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard, despite their name. Mm. <laughs> but yelling is fun. Give it a shot, it's cathartic. <laughs> Leave yes. it all out on the field, Miranda! If you want this, you're going to have to play for it! <laughs> Who I assume to be Miranda's father gives me a dirty look. I shoot it back at him. That attitude isn't going to bring Miranda to D1. Dad, please don't fight any other dads while we're out here. <laughs> it turns into like a Street Fighter minigame. That's looking! <laughs> we watch a couple innings of softball. They aren't ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig's trained his team pretty well. It seems like he's really good with kids. Keg stand Craig is good with children. Whoa. It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off in the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball out in center field. The tiny little girl tries to get under the ball, but misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. What? <laughs> See? It's a completely justifiable fear. The girl plops down on the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off the field and she sobs. Man, it's strange to think about how this is the guy who once backflipped off a roof and into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. I don't even know how the logistics of that would work. I guess you would have to, like, crack it as you started. Yeah, because then the gravity would help you shotgun it. Because you'd already have it poked, yeah. then you would jump and crack it, and because you've already got gravity in the air, and then you would just freaking do your backflip and into the pool. Okay. And that's coming from someone who's never shotgunned a beer, because I don't like beer. Mm. The game resumes after the girl calms down a bit, we watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The ocelots seem to have given up by this point. I see the outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. Having been an outfielder... I never ate grass, but yeah, we do weird shit like that because we're not really involved <laughs> in the game. I was terrible at fucking Little League. Thankfully, I only did it for one I, year. I injured my knee playing softball. Oof. <laughs> yeah. A batter on the other team knocks... Well, one of the times I did it. Oof. A batter on the other team knocks a foul ball into the stance. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no, it's coming right for me. <laughs> oh no, oh no, 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 no. I close my eyes and brace for impact. Uh oh. Oh, my eyes, I look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in amazement. Damn. I caught the ball. You saved me. I caught the ball, Dad. I caught the ball. You did it, Amanda. I faced my fears. I defeated the softball. I can do anything. Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching really understood. I'm proud of you, kiddo. Game ends and Craig's team are declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Great job, everyone! Walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig. 
is walking with some of the par- talking with some of the parents. Craig, great work, man. Thanks. We've been working hard all season. It's great to see it paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Hello. Hey, killer playing out there. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? Hazel. Mm, yeah, it's me. <laughs> Good looking out. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I I did, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all of her math tests. And I usually throw rocks at stuff and people get mad and tell them I'm Briar. (laughs) (laughs) What? We will talk about this later. (laughs) Zachiel, bro, I just got a couple more things to clean up, then we can hang. Oh, Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. Not so fast. We're to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. Hi. Oh, I don't know if I can... Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration can we have without a fearless leader? She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo-goo eyes. And this mom is laying it on thick. Man and I share a Oh, link. Janet. All right, all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? The mom looks slightly put out but covers it with a smile. Of course. Hmm. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? Thirsty's what? Pizza. Huh. What? It's a real place. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> we will have pizza with this thirsty mom, Janet. Thirsty next time. Janet at Thirsty's Pizza? Mmm. Sounds like it. Anyway. <gasps> <clears throat> Bye. <laughs> Uh-uh. <laughs>